Hello and welcome to a fresh new episode of Science Monitor, our weekly update on all that is happening in the field of science and technology in and around the country. From the spirit of the Asian Science Camp to creative sessions by Vigyan Prasar, we are once again here to share the spirit of science with you. But let us take a look at the headlines first. Veterans meet amateurs. Asian Science Camp 2016 concludes in Bangalore. Does Ladakh resemble Mars? Scientists return with clues. Converting air to water. New gadget may be a boon. Making solar and radio kits. Inspiring hands-on by Vigyan Prasar. And in our In Focus segment today, we will extend the exploration of science in sports and explore the world of Cyberthlon. And now the news in detail. A unique chance to meet some of the best scientific minds on one platform. That is the Asian Science Camp. The camp aims to take the knowledge of the scientific veterans to aspiring youngsters. The five-day Asian Science Camp, the 10th in the series, was recently concluded in IISC Bangalore and saw worldwide participation, including some Nobel laureates as well. A platform where scientific veterans shared their knowledge and experiences with an enthusiastic young crowd. That was what the 10th Asian Science Camp was all about. Recently conducted at the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, during 21st to 27th August 2016, the camp brought together youngsters and renowned researchers of the world, including Nobel laureates, on a common platform. The five-day event, which started with an orientation program on 21st August, was formally initiated by inaugural lecture by Dr. R. Chidambaram and welcomed remarks by Professor C. N. R. Rao on 22nd August, who motivated the students to pursue the spirit of science for global good. Just to have an opportunity to meet not only people from your own country, from other country, not even that to hopefully have a chance where some ignition occurs. I can tell you some of the biggest stories of science I heard of great scientists. I find that their lives were really ignited by science on one occasion, by meeting somebody, by listening to somebody, one lecture here and there, something like that. In my own life, I can tell you, I'm now 83 years old. When I was very young, I was 11 years old, when I first listened to Professor C.V. Raman in Bangalore, I will never forget it in my life. He came to our school and gave this lecture with so much spirit. My God, when I saw him, my God, I thought I must be like that. Well, of course, I will never be like that. He was such a great man. But the question is, the bug of science, the, vi the virus of science attacked me very severely. The five-day Asian Science Camp witnessed enthusiastic participation of about 200 students from 22 countries along with 40 selected students from India and 40 internationally renowned mentors from various scientific disciplines. India is organizing this Asian Science Camp second time in IAC Bangalore and this, this program is supported by Department of Science and Technology. And uh, so we started this camp with uh, 23 countries, inviting three, 23 countries in India. And there are a total of 220 participants and 30, almost 40 teachers have come. So with these uh, participants, we are conducting various activities which involves plenary lectures, camps and the dialogue sessions. So the motive of conducting or uh, the structuring the these sessions like this is to develop the interaction between the speakers as well as the students the 10th asian science camp was alive with scientific dialogues and classes aimed at fueling the scientific inquisitiveness of young students and promote international cooperation among young students in asia australia and oceania i'm in the india for the first time and i'm for the first time in asian science camp and 
uh, I've been there for three days, but I like it very much because it's a new experience for me. India is a very exotic country and I've never met such a great scientist. It's a great ability because now I feel like I know what is science about, how to make experiments, and I understand better what I want to do in my future. The camp also included poster presentations by students, laboratory visits, cultural activities and excursions. Outliving tough terrains and braving extreme climatic conditions, the 31-member research team that was part of uh, the NASA Spaceward Bound program is back from Ladakh. The exploration team undertook astrobiological studies in Ladakh to deduce the possibility of life on Mars and are back with some interesting samples and results. The exploration initiated as part of the NASA's uh, Space Word Bound program was organized by the NASA MS Research and the Birbal Sahani Institute of uh, Paleosciences in Lucknow. The team that has braved the extreme of Ladakh to further science is back. The international team of 31 scientists who were flagged off to participate in the field workshop held in Ladakh during August 9th to 19th has come back with astonishing results. During a series of planned scientific experiments, mainly concentrating on astrobiology, the researchers ascended up to 5,359 meters and collected samples of the UV-resistant microbes at Khardung La and Tangla La Pass. The group also sampled the water of Panamik, Chuma Thang and Puga Valley hot water springs for their geochemistry, extremophiles and biomarkers along with the Paleo Lake sites at Khalsar and Sokar. As a part of the outreach program of the mission, the team engaged in active interactions with the students of SECMOI, Leh Higher Secondary School, Sumur, Nomadic Residential School, Puga and Rangdum Middle School, Leh and motivated young students to pursue science. The study also included characterization of regolith, the superficial layer of loose, heterogeneous material covering solid rock in the region including the inverted dune shales deposits. These techniques replicate the ones that will be used on Martian surfaces during future expeditions and the results are likely to yield key insights into some of the most fundamental questions about survival of life in extreme conditions and aid future space missions. Following their astonishing feat, the researchers were felicitated at a valedictory session held at Amity Institute of Aerospace Engineering, Greater Noida on 21st August 2016. The field workshop planned during August 9 to 21, 2016 was a part of the NASA Spaceward Bound program being organized by the NASA Ames Research Center in collaboration with the Birbal Sahani Institute of Paleosciences, Lucknow. With rising population, water is becoming a rare commodity while air still seems to be in plenty. So what if uh, the air could be converted to water to resolve water shortage? Sounds incredulous, but this is exactly what a new gadget developed by a 22-year-old Indian student aims to do, convert air into water. Details in this report. Solid to liquid, liquid to gas. These transitions are much familiar to us and they form the basis of many natural phenomena. Perhaps the most well known is conversion of gas, more specifically water vapor into liquid, the process which results in rain. 
What if the process can be mechanically replicated, converting air to water? Yes, that is what Dewdrop, a brainchild of Javad Patel, 22-year-old engineering student from Hyderabad, is designed for. Dewdrop is an automated air-to-water machine which can produce around 2 litres of water per hour based on simple laws of the thermodynamics and the mechanism I'm using is totally different from them. I'm using the Paltier effect in collaboration with the Thomson and I'm using the, some laws of the thermodynamics. Uh, there is no harmful effect of that because it's just a simple electricity to produce the hot and warm, square, warm conditions to convert the water. The gadget runs on solar energy and comes with a computerized sensor that provides the user with information about moisture content in the atmosphere. The technology uses simple electricity to produce hot and warm conditions to convert moisture to safe drinking water. Though such machines have been made in the past, Dewdrop differs by producing completely non-toxic and safe drinking water. Information and enjoyment. Vigyan Prasar's novel Hands-On Workshop aims to spread the joy of science. The hands-on program focuses on training individuals on renewable energy through the use of solar and radio kits. Now, the training is a part of Vigyan Prasar's faculty development program and is being organized in association with YMCA, University of Science and Technology, Faridabad. With increasing human population, the demand for energy is also rising worldwide and realizing that world's fossil fuel reserves are almost exhausted. Mankind is fast turning towards alternative and renewable sources of energy. In order to encourage the use of renewable energy resources, it is also vital to promote the science that underlies it. Who else could be a better medium of knowledge propagation than teachers? especially in the area of novel technologies like renewable resources. This is the motivation behind the novel faculty development program organized by Vigyan Prasar in collaboration with YMCA University of Science and Technology. जो कुछ हम पढ़ते जा रहे हैं कहीं ना कहीं हमें हमें जो नई एडवांसमेंट है अपने मतलब एक्टिविटीज में अपनी रिसर्च में इन्वॉल्व करना होगा तभी हम बेहतर तरीके से आने वाले बच्चों को पढ़ा पाएंगे क्योंकि अगर हमने जो पढ़ा है उसी को लेके हम पढ़ाते रहेंगे तो ना हमारे बच्चे उतना अच्छे से चीज़ें सीख पाएंगे और ना ही हम उनको बेहतर तरीके से सिखा पाएंगे तो इसलिए ये फैकल्टी को उनका जो भी एजुकेशन है जो भी उसको ब्रशअप करने के लिए एक तरीके से देखा जाए तो ये ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम कम वर्कशॉप है the six-day program focused on training teachers on novel technologies in the area of renewable energy resources in the form of seminars and workshops. The program conceives taking the knowledge on these technologies to students through teachers. Light ke sources par dekha jaye, light ki efficiency dekha jaye. Ab vaise to solar ki efficiency kam hai. What iske uses dekho kitne hai? Jo ki renewable sources ab apne abhi bana sakte ho. आपको कोई खर्च नहीं है लो कॉस्ट है इस वजह से मतलब इन चीज़ों को अवेयर कराना हाउ टू प्रोसीड देम हाउ टू डू दैट टाइप ऑफ थिंग हाउ टू प्रिपेयर द पी सी बी दीज ऑल थिंग विल बी गाइडेड बाय दैट टीचर टू द स्टूडेंट दउट द गाइडेंस दे कैन नॉट डू एंड इन ऑर्डर टू स्प्रेड द अवेयरनेस अमंग द स्टूडेंट दैन टीचर शुड नो वट इज गोइंग टू बी हैपन the center of focus of this program was the solar and radio kits developed by the students. The solar kits under the workshop has been developed with emphasis on rural settings where solar energy can be used in case of power failure. The kit is based on solar energy and the villagers can also enjoy radio programs simultaneously. This solar kit which is made by our students in this workshop we are donating to one of the rural villages which is adopted by the YMC University. 
to continue with the technology and all we have also made our kids to work upon hands on upon the radio kit now the second step ahead which kids will be going on is to come with the concept together we are guiding them and motivating them to make a kit where radio and your solar works together and we can then gift it to the people living in rural villages the workshop which was organized as a part of this program also trained young students on creating both solar and radio kits which are to be implemented in rural areas it is expected that the program will give thrust not only to the use of renewable energy resources but also to the science underlying them Well, we'll take a very short break here. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with some more interesting science news. Keep watching Science Monitor.